Good morning, everyone. So here's what I've been thinking about. Because I'm seeing a lot of people um, turning away from movements, turning away from people that they used to follow, but in a way where they are renouncing that person now. And here's what I would like to put on the table about that. If you consider yourself a sovereign being, if you talk about being a sovereign being, if you proclaim it at times, and you are still looking for someone else's truth to fit you 100%, as though it, it, like a glove, as though it's a dress or a suit tailor made for you, someone else's truth, filtered through their lens, their perception, their life. If you think that a, a movement's whole truth can suit you 100%, if you think another being's truth, teachings, every single word they say is going to fit you 100%, then you do not know what a sovereign being is. And here's the example that I want to give you of how you're kind of living right now, if that's still your belief system. A, that you need to be led. B, that you need to find the truth outside of you. You're kind of being, this is, this is kind of the example that came to me of what would be the same kind of situation. It would be like a young adult who lives at home, who says to their parents, I'm an adult now, I want to live as an adult and I want to be independent. So I'm going to move to the granny flat out the back or I'm going to move to the, you know, the, the, the flat above the garage because I am an adult being and I'm living my own life. But they continue to have their electricity paid for, their gas paid for, their food paid for when they run out of money because they've spent too much. Uh, the insurance is paid for, you know, the, the, the garden is maintained, the outside is maintained. So this is you know, there's on the one hand, they're saying, oh, no, I'm independent. And on the other hand, they're saying, well, no, I don't want to be fully independent. You're doing the same thing. If you want to be a sovereign, if you want to, you, of course, you are a sovereign being. There's no wanting to be, not wanting to be. You are a sovereign being at varying states of remembering that. But if you are stating it, and you wish to step more fully into that. Firstly, don't sit at home waiting for someone to knock on your door and saying, okay, we now allow you to be sovereign. Secondly, do not follow someone else's rules and guidelines on what life should look like, follow your own. And thirdly, there will be no movement that suits you 100%. That's not to say don't be in a movement. That's not to say don't look for community. That's not to say don't contribute. That's not to say there isn't value in community and movements but if you're looking for it to speak for you 100 percent, you are not going to find it to find that you would have to hand over your power just as we have been in what's gotten us to this point for someone else to speak for us it doesn't they can't if you are following a spiritual teacher if you are following anybody anybody's account and the minute something they say does not resonate with you and you don't agree with it, that's the minute you leave, then what you've been doing is putting all of your power in that person's hands and saying, speak my truth. And no one can do that for you. No religion, no group, no organisation, no fellow being can speak your truth 100%. There's always going to be your own individuality, your own uniqueness in your truth and what resonates with you. So live life like a 
like a smorgasbord. Go and take from each person, each movement, each thing you hear, each thing you watch, each thing you read, take from it what feeds you, what lifts you up, what reminds you of your power, what helps you be more connected with who you are. The rest, leave it. There's no need to renounce somebody. There's no need to say, I can't follow you anymore if you're going to say this. There's no need to throw a whole movement under the bus and go, oh my God, they're not who I thought they were. They are who they are. It's about you knowing who you are and moving and shifting in and out of scenarios that are right for you and taking what's taking what resonates, taking what fits, taking what feeds you and just leave the rest. Just leave it because that's their truth and not your truth. And that is how a sovereign community lives. A recognition and a respect for your truth, your truth, your truth, my truth, their truth, and none of it has to be the same. Much love.